Hey there, it's Kat and this is Brews and Reviews. In the title of this video and you're probably wondering what the hell the black shelf project is and that is a project that i've come up with to try and clear one of the shelves that exists on my bookcases and uh, the black shelf is a very particular shelf it is a shelf full of a particular type of erotic novel I'm trying to explain this is always really weird but i always call it the black shelf because it's full of books that have like black covers they have like a really ambiguous name and they were very very clearly marketed at the people who like Fifty Shades of Grey. Now I used to work in a shop where you could get a bunch of books for really cheap, it was called The Works. If you're in Britain you'll know what that is. Um, a lot of these books were in three for five pound and so I picked them up because I was like yeah why not, why not, this should be fun and a lot of them are pretty terrible, really terrible. The ones I've read in the past have been like Anyway, uh, I think I've read like one of them that actually turned out to be good. So I've been thinking, knowing what I know about them and knowing that they're actually not that good, why have I kept them on my shelves? Well, it just feels like a waste. Like, I have a certain opinion of this genre and a lot of it is silly, but some of it can be worthwhile. Some of it's alright. I like a good sexy book. Just don't like the ones that turn out to not be sexy and turn out to be like weirdly non-consensual or like I don't know <laughs> some of them are just written really really weirdly and why are they all about billionaires I mean like they're not all about billionaires but like that's like a tick in the box of wrongness for me when the dom guy is like a massive millionaire and I'm like well how realistic is that <laughs> I mean I know these books aren't realistic in so many ways but it just like really amuses me because it's like wow okay you're just really going off the Fifty Shades train and Fifty Shades, uh, by the way, if you've seen me rant about this I really did not like Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, there was so much wrong with that book it's such a poor representation of a healthy relationship and they're both terrible people so <laughs> communication, communication, communication anyway, back to this project I want to clear out this shelf. I want to know which books I want to keep and which books that I can just get rid of. They've been there for too long now. I, I just want to make it a project to go through them, bin off the ones that I didn't like, and keep the few, probably few, that I do. So that's where I'm going with this project. It's, it's a bit of a silly one. I'll run through the books that are actually on this list and then you guys can tell me where you think I should start. Well, I have the first book that I'm reading for that, but given that I want to read two more books, in January and February that are on this list, tell me where I should go next, because I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to just tell you guys the one that I started off with, just because I want to keep it on this list, and it is Twelve Shades of Surrender Bound. This is a collection of six short stories, and it just felt like a good place to start, so that is where I'm starting. And I had my friend Mike pick this one for me, and um, yeah, thanks Mike. <laughs> thanks. Then we have Sunkissed by Stephanie Ash, Switch by Megan Hart, Fire After Dark by Sadie Matthews, Destined to Play by Indigo Bloom, Destined to Fly by Indigo Bloom, Destined to Feel by Indigo Bloom. I'm really not sure which one comes first, like if you guys pick any of these then I'll have to just figure out which one the first one is in this series because I, I think they're part of the same series. It would make sense, the weird ribbon thing I guess, and the same sort of name. Hmm, yeah, so these must be part of the same series, I'll have to just figure out which one's first. 80 Days Yellow by Bina Jackson, 80 Days Blue by Bina Jackson, again I'll have to figure out which one's the first in the series and read that one if you guys pick one of these. Daring Time by Beth Carey, Because You Are Mine by Beth Carey, not sure if these are part of the same series, I, I'm not really sure, but mm, if they are I'll figure out which one's first. The Discipline by Marina Anderson, Forbidden Desires by Marina Anderson, these two aren't part of the same series, they're definitely standalones because I've read two of the other ones by Marina Anderson, one which was okay and one of them which was like holy fuck what am I reading? So that would be fun. The Dark Garden by Erin Bradley, Grey by E.L. James because for some reason I, I bought this one anyway even though I really don't like the first three but you know the anger, the anger is real. I guess if you pick this one you're gonna get like a really really angry review of it because I'm gonna hate it. And lastly, the only book on this shelf that actually isn't black. The Juliet Society by Sasha Gray. <laughs> yeah, probably the most qualified person on this list to know about like weird sex stuff though. So there we have it, those are the books that exist on the black shelf that I haven't read yet and I'm gonna get through at some point in this year. Pick your fave!
I, I guess. Pick, pick which one you think I should read next. Yeah. So, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I'm not expecting these books to be very good because of my experience with them in the past. I have read like one that I enjoyed and thought was like a healthy story. That, I think that's where I'm going with this. A lot of these stories don't tend to be healthy and that bothers me a lot. Because the thing for me is that it's totally okay to have a romance book with kinky stuff in it. To each their own. I mean everyone can do whatever the hell they want to do as long as it's not hurting anyone and it's completely consensual. But the thing that bothers me about a lot of these books is that they are so unrealistic but they are unrealistic in a way that is just people don't communicate properly and people do things that could be harmful to other people and I'm like stop stop doing that and it just really bothers me also some things are really really weird but like again to each their own but <laughs> but yeah like my biggest triggers in these books is like things not being consensual things that could, are happening that could hurt someone else and like a lack of communication because people who can't communicate that's like my biggest pet hate in any sort of romance book or any sort of book in general so yeah I, basically what I'm saying is I would like to like these books but I'm kind of already anticipating that I'm gonna see those faults in them so hopefully I won't and hopefully this project will either let me like some of these books or help me unhaul them either way these books are getting read don't forget to let me know which one you think I should read next and uh, yeah if you like this video then please leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye